Hello everyone, welcome to Diego Knows, I am Diego. Uh, today I just want to take this moment to talk a little bit about, well, what everyone's talking about right now. Uh, obviously the slap heard around the world, uh, Mr. Will Smith, you know, who just laid the slap down on Chris Rock. You know, everybody hates Chris, right? <laughs> okay, so I just want to type in my two cents on what's going on. Everyone's talking about it, everyone's got their opinion. I follow a lot of YouTube channels and... Um, you know, from di different topics, all different stuff. Some of it's comic book related, some of it's pop culture, some of it's, you know, movie news. Some of it is, you know, just, just different things, you know. Um, and this is the first time that all of my YouTube channels are talking about the same thing. Okay, everyone. That's what everyone's talking about, all right. They're not talking about the, the stuff they normally talk about. They're all talking about this, okay. So I guess I should too, you know. I'm going to talk about this as well. Okay, so real quickly, what, what, what are my feelings on what happened? What I think is going on here? Well, there's a couple of different levels. Uh, I don't think it was planned. I think that the uh, Oscar uh, committee is taking advantage of it. They're definitely exploiting this uh, for their own benefit, you know. Uh, I don't think it was planned. I think he legitimately, I think Will Smith legitimately slapped Chris Rock across the face. Because, let's face it, uh, Jada Pickett has uh, not been very kind to, to Will Smith. Now, Will Smith, first of all, he's a very talented person, okay? A very talented guy. I never watched The Fresh Prince of Bel Air, although I know I'm the only guy in the world that never watched that show. I never watched it, but I know what it was about. Yeah, I've seen the, the title opening, you know, the opening title for the song. And I know that's where he, like, got discovered. I, I remember him on DJ Jazzy Jeff and The Fresh Prince, okay? Parents just don't understand. Bum, 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 bum. You know, I remember that, you know? And then he started acting and stuff. He actually did really, really good in some movies. I remember he did a movie called Six Degrees of Separation, which he was really good in that. And, um... It was a gay con man in that one. Uh, but, uh, you know, what, he, what, really, what really boosted his career big time was uh, Independence Day. I and mean, he did Bad Boys before that, you know. But Independence Day, that's the one that shot him straight to the top. I mean, everybody remembered him from Independence Day after that. He was like the, the, the breakout character from that movie. There was a lot of other actors in that movie. As a matter of fact, uh, if you remember, when Independence Day came out, there was no famous actors really in that movie. I mean, there, there kind of was, but... They, they couldn't market the movie as, uh, as well, there's no movie stars attached. They couldn't market the movie with movies. They had to market it with the special effects and the concept. Aliens invade the world, okay? Uh, and they did that for the cheap, okay? If they had a legitimate movie star in the movie, they would have to pay that person a lot of money, and they couldn't afford to do that, okay? They had to, um, they had, all the money had to go into the special effects. So that's what they did. So they got a bunch of, like, B-list actors to be in this movie, and guess who, the, who was the breakout with Will Smith? You know, his personality just, you know... Now that's what I call a close encounter, you know. You know, pop, pop. you know, he was playing I was in the Marine Corps at the time. He was playing a Marine, so he was totally unset. But anyway, that, that's what that's what broke him out, okay? And then he just he did Men in Black right after that. And that movie was a piece of fucking shit. I fuck I saw it on my fucking birthday and I wish I could get my money back. I wish I could redo my birthday. I hate that movie so fuck. I know everyone loved it. I fucking hated Men in Black. I fucking could not stand it. Could not fucking stand it. I hated that movie. But you know, opinions are you know, so he, he became a real big name. All right. Now, for the past 10 years, his career hasn't been that well. Uh, he's been trying to make his son a thing. You know, he's been trying to make his son uh, a movie star. And I'm sorry, but, I mean, this, this kid, Jaden Smith, is just, he's not talented. He's not. I mean, he's, he's, he's there because you're there, Will. I mean, that's it. Okay. You, he has no talent. I have not seen any of it. Okay. And I've watched some other shit. Like, I, I saw that piece of shit Karate Kid movie, you know. Now, now just to get, okay, the Karate Kid Okay, Will Smith owns the Karate Kid franchise. He owns. He bought the. He bought the rights to the Karate Kid franchise. You cannot do anything with the Karate Kid unless Will Smith approves it and gets paid. Okay, <laughs> and yes, I'm talking about Cobra Kai. If you look at the show Cobra Kai on Netflix, okay, one of the greatest shows fucking I've ever seen. Yes, Will Smith owns that show. He owns the rights to everything having to do with the Karate Kid. And that's why he put his son in the in the, in the remake. With Jackie Chan because he owned the rights to it. He wanted to remake it. Everybody fucking hated it. It wasn't even fucking karate. It was kung fu. Okay? So the, the name of the movie was fucking wrong. Okay? Um, Jackie Chan does not do karate. He does kung fu. They were in China, which is kung fu. Karate's Japanese. If he knew anything about fucking martial arts, you know, then he would know that. But obviously he doesn't. So, um, yeah. So there's that. And uh, so he's still making money. Okay? But he just his, his movie choices have been pretty bad lately. And uh, I mean, the Suicide Squad. I mean, he was that just, he 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 wasn't really very good in that, you know. And they obviously, you know, just fucking recast him in the new Suicide Squad movie. I mean, what's his name? Uh, Idris Elba's character was basically Deadshot. 
all over again, you know. Uh, but, um, you know, his, his career choices for like 10 years, he did that movie with, with, um, with his son, where they were astronauts or whatever, they're on a planet, whatever, I think it was Afterlife or something like that, yeah. It was directed by M. Night Shalman, and they did not want anybody to know M. Night Shalman directed it because his career was on a downslope big time. Uh, so they didn't promote it with M. Night Shalman as a director, but yeah, he directed Afterlife and it was a piece of shit. You know, so a lot of the movies he's done ha haven't really been very good. And of course, you know, uh, his wife, Jada Pickett, oh my God, that fucking bitch. I mean, she just, she not, I mean, you talk about like a, a woman that that actually matches what she looks like, okay? That shows you how little she can act. She never acts. Jada Pickett does not act. She's playing herself in every fucking thing that she's cast in. She's a fucking bitch. A self-entitled, fucking pompous, fucking cunt. That's Jada Pickett, okay? She likes strong men like Tupac who died, you know? And she has no problem fucking around on, on her husband. Okay, with this open marriage thing, get the fuck out of here. Let me tell you something, okay? For those of you who do not know, okay, an open marriage is 99% of the time instigated by the wife. It is always the woman that wants the open marriage. It's never the guy that wants the open marriage. It's always the woman that wants the open marriage. She'll say, oh yeah, my husband and I were in an open bull fucking shit. You're in an open relationship and you didn't want to hide it from your husband. So he went along with it because you got him by the short hairs. That's the honest to God truth, okay? That is the honest to fucking God truth, all right? is the woman, the wife is the one who wants to fuck around. Okay, but she can't really get away with it, so she gets her husband to agree with it. But the truth is, she just wants to get her fucking fun. All right? Um, and you know, he doesn't want to lose her because he doesn't want to pay alimony and you know, all that kind of shit and child support, so he goes along with it because it's cheaper to keep her, right? Um, so uh, th that's the situation they're in. Uh, he's, you know, I mean... I can't believe he did that. He did that podcast with her on YouTube or whatever, wherever her show. I don't watch her fucking show, but you know that that episode we all saw it. You know where she admitted to having an affair with this um this kid that was one of her son's friends. I mean, come on, man. You know you don't fucking. I mean, Will Smith has provided you with everything, Jada. Okay, you're nowhere near as fucking talented as he is. Nowhere close to being as talented as your husband. Okay, everything you have is because of him. Okay. Everything you've got in your career is because of him, okay? And you and you and you, you emasculated him, you know. And this is this is Will Smith's fault too. He let this happen. I mean, if I, had been, I mean, when you're a major big blockbuster star, movie star, you know, and you go on a show with your wife and she openly admits that she was fucking around on you, and you're just taking it like, okay, you know, like what the fuck? What, what do you think is gonna happen? Okay, Will Smith is, a, is supposed to be a role model to all these fucking kids. All right, all, the, all, these, all these black kids and white kids too. Because he's very white friendly. You know, white kids lo love his movie. Like I said, men in black. Okay, oh my God. <laughs> it's mostly white kids in that audience. Okay, they love him. All right, he's a role model. Okay, I like that Hancock was a great, I loved him in Hancock. You know, and, and of course the Bad Boys movies. Yeah, you know what I mean? He's, he's, you know, he's got a big white following. White people love Will Smith. Okay, he's very non-threatening. Okay, just like they love Denzel Washington. Okay, so he's got he's got the cloud. He can draw in the numbers. He can draw in a much bigger fan base than say someone like say Tyler Perry can. Okay, so you know people are looking up to him. He's a role model. Yes, we know he's not really those characters he plays, but he he picks the roles where he's the hero, or where he's the crusader. You know, like he plays that that, that doctor that fucking that, that discovered all, all the concussions the football players were having, you know, and called out the, the conspiracy to hide that, you know. Like, he plays these roles, you know. Uh, even Deadshot when he, on Suicide Squad, that was a kick-ass role. He got to play a fucking assassin, you know. Although he was very pussy-fied. That wasn't the Deadshot from the comic books, okay. Um, but, you know, I mean, he plays these, these, these characters that you can relate to, that, that you want to be like. And then he does this, and... You know, Okay, you mean, I mean, the word cuck has gone around a lot. And yeah, I got I to admit it, yeah. I mean, the fact that, you, that you're going to let your wife, that your wife, you, that you would do it, not let your wife, but you, that you're going to do a show with your wife where she openly cuck holds you in front of the whole world. And, and you you sit for that? You're like, I mean, you don't act like you're okay with it, but you don't, you don't defend yourself. You don't like, you know, what do, what do you expect? All these people that looked up for you, you just, you just let them all down. And me too, yeah. I kind of, I kind of looked up to Will Smith too, you know. I, I used to get jiggy with it, na 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 na. I mean, I used to listen to him, you know. Um, it's just like, uh, you know, it just you do that, you like lose your, 
You lose your coolness, okay? And your entire career is based on your coolness, okay? Hollywood celebrities, it's a fucking popularity contest. The most popular are the ones that get all the work, okay? <laughs> okay, once the popular kid, you know, is exposed, he's the emperor, uh, has new, the emperor with, with, has no clothes, you know, that story, you know? Uh, once you get exposed like that, you can't really come back from it. You know, your whole, his whole thing was that, look at me, I'm Will Smith, I made it, I'm A-list actor. I got the fan base, I got the money, I got the talent, I got the perfect wife, I got the perfect kids, I got the perfect life. And then you find out this shit gets revealed to the public and you and you openly enable this to happen. You allow this, your personal bullshit to get revealed to the public. What do you think is gonna happen? Everything you do in the public sphere, it, it goes into who you are, into your character, your, your Q score, okay? The narrative. You know, the way, the way people think about you. Whenever you think of a celebrity, you automatically think they're this type of person. That's not who they really are, but you automatically think they are. Why? Because that's the pair of characters that they play all the time in the movies. So you're like, like Tom Hanks. When you think about Tom Hanks, what do you think? You think about a nice, smart, intelligent, good guy. Older guy, right? But that's probably not who he really fucking is. Or at least that's not all he is. You know, I'm just pretty sure he's a fucking asshole. Look at Harvey Weinstein. Look, look at how everyone thought, man, yeah, he's not an actor. But look how much everyone praised him. Everyone in Hollywood was fucking, every girl was fucking getting, getting wet for him. Okay, every guy wanted to be like him. Every guy was afraid of him and every woman wanted to fuck him. Not because he was attractive, but because he could open doors for their careers. That's why. Okay, and then once it gets exposed, what he's really like, it's like, ooh. Now all these Hollywood celebrities are like, oh shit, you know? Now they're all like, now he's like persona non grata. You know, persona non grata. And, you know, you were all praising him. All you fucking... These, these fucking liberal fucking celebrity elitists that want to tell everyone in the whole fucking world how to live their lives and what they should be doing. They were praising pedophiles, praising rapists. Okay? I mean, who's holding them accountable? Nobody. Because they think they have power. Okay, well, luckily the internet has changed all that. The people on the internet, these influencers, those are the ones with the real power, not the celebrities. Now, they're, they're a dying breed. Will Smith's one of the last. Okay, like you got Will Smith and Tom Cruise and fucking The Rock. Okay, and all of them are well in their 40s, okay? You're not going to get any new movie stars, all right? <laughs> the age of the movie star is gone, okay? These are the last of the dying breed, all right? And Will Smith just fucking ruined his career. When he attacked Chris, Chris Rock like that, he ruined his career, okay? He could have been stoic. He could have just blown it off, but he didn't do it. Obviously, he had something he wanted to prove. He had something he wanted to say in a platform like the, like the Academy Awards, okay? He wanted to show the whole world that he's not a cuck, okay? That he's not going to let people talk shit about his family and about his personal life, okay? Motherfucker, you are in the public sphere. People are going to talk shit about you, okay? You are a, cele a public figure. People are going to talk shit about you, okay? Anyone who does anything in the public is going to have criticism. No matter who the fuck you are, your career was based on what people thought about you. Okay? They, they pay to see your movies because of who you are. Because this is what they, they have an idea of who Will Smith is and they want to see that in a movie. Okay? Now you've basically let the cat out of the bag that you're none of these things. You're really not, you're actually just a weak, cuckolded bitch whose wife tells him what to do. A wife who does not respect him. You know? A wife who has no problem humiliating him in front of millions of people. This is who Will Smith is. He lets his wife do this shit. He's allowed this to happen. He's been, a, 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 he's openly complied with her and all this shit. And now that people are making fun of him, now he decides he's going to hit someone for making a joke? The joke that Chris Rock made had nothing to do with the fact that your wife is over here getting fucked like crazy and you're okay with it. He had nothing, his joke had nothing to do with that. Okay? It was just fucking because your wife had bald hair. Okay, yeah, I know she's got some disease that makes it bald. You know, you know what's called when it happens to a guy? It's called baldness, all right? So it wasn't that big of a deal. He did that to make a public statement because everybody was making fun of him ever since his wife exposed him as a cuck, all right? And he did not stand up. He did not fucking reclaim his masculinity. He did not leave his wife. He did not fucking, you know, get caught with another woman. None of that shit, okay? And, um... You know, for, for people, for a bunch of boys out there, a bunch of young men who looked up to Will Smith, we lost all respect for you when that happened. That was last year. And now that you're doing this, you're not just, you're not just a fucking cuck, dude. You're a fucking little kid, too. Okay, you act like a little fucking kid. You actually resort to violence. You actually hit somebody because they made a joke. A person whose job it is to make jokes. 
you hit him, okay? You're supposed to be this, this role model for the African-American community, yet you hit another fucking black guy. You hit another black guy. How, how does that make you a role model, okay? That just makes you a stereotype, okay? That black people hurt other black people more than they hurt white people. Holy shit, you just reinforced that. How do you... Dude, you, you, you've ruined your image, your brand, dude. I, I, I know you won an Academy Award, but no one gives a shit about the Academy Awards, okay? The Academy Awards are just the cool kids. The, the kids that think they're cool giving each other awards and praises. Nobody gives a shit about the Academy Awards anymore. It's not a thing anymore. It used to be something important. You won an Academy Award, that means you earned it. Now it's not about that at all. It's all about politics. It's all about who you know, who you blow, who you're friends with, what color your skin is, who you're fucking. You know, these, these are qual qualifiers on whether or not you're going to win an Academy Award. Nothing to do with whether you're a fucking a talented actor in a good movie. Nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with who do you know, who did you blow, who are you fucking, what color is your skin? What's in between your legs? That, that's it. That's it right there. Th those are all the requirements in order to win an Academy Award. It has nothing to do with talent. It has nothing to do with it. It's a good movie. And it sure as fuck has nothing to do with fucking making money. Okay, all these mo the movies that get nominated for Academy Awards, they don't make any fucking money. Nobody goes to go see them. Okay, o only the, the rich Hollywood elites go see their own movies. Okay, the, the general audience, the public does not go see those fucking movies. So it doesn't fucking matter. It, it doesn't. It doesn't. It's just, it's just the Academy. It's just these rich elitist, you know, jerk. It's a big circle jerk. That's all it is. Okay, nobody gives a fuck anymore. It doesn't mean anything. Academy Awards no longer mean anything. Okay, so it doesn't fucking matter who won an Academy Award. Okay, uh, I, I doubt anyone's going to go see his movies, okay, because what keeps Hollywood going is not these artsy-fartsy independent fucking movies where everyone's gay and everyone's a racist, okay, that's, you know, or everyone's handicapped, okay, or everyone's trans, or everyone, whatever the fuck, you know, wins an Academy Award, everyone's an amputee or a Holocaust survivor, okay, or a lesbian or a fucking handicapped, you know, or a racist, okay, these are the movies that always win Academy Awards, okay, it has nothing to do with that, okay, what keeps Hollywood going is fucking money, Money. Shit like what Star Wars used to be, what the Marvel Universe, you know, well, like, well, I guess it is still is, you know, Spider Man No Way Home. I mean, far, yeah, Spider Man No Way Home. I mean, shit like that's what keeps the lights on in Hollywood, okay? Movies like that, okay? Not pieces of shit like fucking Serena Williams and Venus Williams and their fucking movie about their dad. No one gives a shit about that. I mean, some people do, okay? But the, the, the people that fucking love Serena and Venus Williams so fucking much, okay, it's such a small percentage. Okay, that you actually need a hell of a lot more people to go see that movie in order for that movie to turn a profit. Okay, and nobody did. Nobody did. So, what does it matter? Okay, these movies don't make any fucking money. So, you can win all the awards you want. It doesn't matter when your fucking studio goes bankrupt. It doesn't fucking matter. All right. And uh, as far as Jada Pickett goes, I mean, she's not talented. She's just a fucking bitch. That's all she is. She's just a fucking bitch. She tries to act like she's some feminist. There's a difference between being a feminist and being a bitch. You're both bitches, okay? There's no such thing as feminism anymore. It's just man-hating. That's all it is, okay? It's just another race baiter. Just someone else claiming that, okay, I didn't get what I want because I'm black. Bull fucking shit, okay? You are more privileged than most of the fucking people on this planet. Much less people in the, much less, you know, your skin color. Okay, okay, all you have is fucking privilege. No one's going to jail for this shit. No one's pressing charges. It doesn't fucking matter if Chris Rock doesn't press charges. Okay, he should be charged with assault because everyone saw it on fucking TV. Okay, why did Will Smith not go to jail? Why was he not charged with assault during this thing? Why? You know why? Because of his privilege. Okay, these people that talk about they're white, there's no such thing as fucking white privilege. There's no such fucking thing as white privilege. The only privilege that's out there is class privilege. Who's got the money and who doesn't? Okay, that's the only privilege that exists in this fucking country. Who's got the money and who fucking doesn't? The people with the money can get away with shit like this. The people that don't have money cannot get away with it. That's what it comes down to. It has nothing to do with your fucking sexuality. It has nothing to do with your skin color. Okay? It has nothing to do with what's in between your pants either. Okay? It all has to do with how much money do you have? How much power do you have? The people, the elitists, okay, they don't have to answer for shit. Okay, but the elitist is such a small fucking minority of people and this small tiny minority is telling everyone else how to fucking live. Okay, that's the only privilege that's out there. The people in power. Okay, and they're coming all fucking races. All fucking colors. All sexualities. Okay. And Will Smith is a living proof of that. So that's what I think. I think he fucked up his career. I think Chris Rock will probably get some, some good press out of this. You know, the next time Chris Rocks does anything, you know, they're going to want to hear his jokes about it. 
about what happened. Uh, I'm sure he would have written some good jokes by then. Uh, they're going to they're feel sorry for him because of what happened, you know. Uh, and the next time Will Smith does a movie, we're just going to laugh. At, we're just going to laugh at the trailer and no one's going to go see it. Because it doesn't matter what he does, okay. We, we saw him fucking slap somebody on stage, okay. Because, you know, for those, for those of you out there that did not know about what was going on with his wife, how Jada was fucking around on him, you know, I made it public. Uh, now, now you do, okay. <laughs> This was the last thing you wanted to happen, okay? When you're, when, like I said, when you're a celebrity, okay, uh, Will Smith employs hundreds of people that work for him, okay? His publicists, his agents, his managers, his caterers, his fucking, his lawn, the guys that do his lawn, his travel ar ar arrangers, okay? He's his personal trainers, his dietitians, his chefs, his butlers, you know, he's, he employs so many fucking people, okay? That a lot of people will lose. If he doesn't, if he doesn't keep making money and making movies, a lot of people are going to lose their jobs. Okay, and he has just done that. He has just fucking lost all these people their jobs. Okay, because he's not going to be making movies anymore. He probably doesn't need the money. I'm sure he can live comfortably. Like I said, he owns the Karate Kid, and he never shows up on that show on Cobra Kai. He's never made an appearance on Cobra Kai, and he owns that. Okay, so I'm sure he's going to be fine financially. But it's just his image, his public image is tarnished, and I don't think he's going to get it back. I really don't. I really don't think he's going to get it back. Okay, I know he's in the club. I know he's. I know and the liberals always take care of. This. It's only the cons conservatives that 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 don't get second chances. Okay, if, when they fuck up, the liberals always get second chances for the most part. They do, unless you're like a Harvey Weinstein or something like that. Okay, but like I mean, look look at James Gunn. Okay, he's making jokes about about little kids, and then they let and they let him back. They fired him for like two minutes, and they brought him right back. But then Roseanne Barr made 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 a racial joke, and you know, uh, an offensive racial joke, and she's fucking banned from Hollywood for life. You know, they kept her show going, but they renamed it. So, you know, it's, just, it's not fair. It's not fucking fair, you know. Pedro Pascal made Holocaust uh, statements on the internet, and he was praised for it. Gina Carano made Holocaust statements on the internet, and she got fired from Disney, okay? And, and you know, so, so how is that respecting women? It's not. Okay, just showing, like, if you're in the club, we're going to take care of you. If you're not in the club, you're out. Okay, in other words, if you're a conservative, you're out. We don't want you here. You know, and it's, it's just a bunch of bullshit. It's a bunch of virtue signaling. And, uh, and we're sick of it. I think people are just sick of it. I think even, even liberals are sick of it. You know, we're sick of being told what to think. We're sick of being told the stuff that we don't want to see keep throwing it in our face. We're tired. We want to live our lives. We don't want to be bothered with this bullshit. Okay. And, uh, and Will Smith is just a big part of that problem. You know, he's just, he's one of them. He's not one of us. He's one of them. He doesn't represent us anymore. If he ever did. You know, he's one of them. They're going to take care of him. Okay, but I guarantee you this, we're not going to go see his movies. Okay, because like I said, it's only, in order for you to be successful in Hollywood, you have to appeal to everybody, not just your fucking friends, which is only this small percentage of, of the movie industry is your friends. Your friends can only see your movie so many fucking times, okay? You got to get everyone else to see your movie in order for the movie to be profitable, okay? And Will Smith is not going to be headlining any more, any more movies because no one's going to go see it because his name, his brand is done now. It's done. Okay, he's exposed himself. He lost his temper in front of everybody, in front of the world. Okay? This is not somebody we want to emulate. It's not somebody we want to pretend we wish we could be anymore. You know, he's lost his brand. Sorry, that's how it is. All right, I'm Diego. Thank you for watching.